Uh. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you saw in one of my last videos, I did a review and a taste test of a traditional MRE from Amazon. So today, what I'm going to do is a taste test of a cold weather MRE from Amazon. And this one is the scrambled and eggs. Scrambled, scrambled and eggs. Scrambled eggs and bacon. <laughs> Alright, let's get this thing open. That's it for that. We have a spoon that is already torn. So that's not very settling. Nut raisin mix. Instant oatmeal, strawberries, and cream. That sounds kind of interesting, actually. Beverage powder, orange. So I guess that's like a Maybe like an orange Gatorade or something. Cocoa beverage powder, which I'm going to assume is probably going to be like the one that I had in the last MRE and was disgusting. Yeah. No, that's not very good. A fig bar. Oh wow. And I get, this is actually from uh, Mountain House, you can see here. Which Mountain House makes, this is freeze dried scrambled, uh, scrambled eggs and bacon, but Mountain House actually, if you go to like Dick's or like any other like camping store, they actually have their own like complete line of freeze dried food. So it's actually kind of surprising that they supply, or I guess maybe it's not surprising that they supply the food for a military MRE. And then we have this little packet here. What we got here? Coffee instant type three. What makes it type three? That's kind of concerning. Why would it be type three? A napkin or, I think people said in the last one that I did that this isn't a napkin and that this is really toilet paper. I think is what everyone was telling me. Oh, this one came with, came with matches. The last one did not come with matches. This one came with hot sauce. The two pieces of gum, sugar, non-dairy creamer for the coffee, and a moist towelette. Since you guys will probably get mad if I don't, we'll make sure that these matches work. Yep, they work just like normal matches. So one thing I'm noticing is it says, where on this, to add eight, eight ounces of hot water, one third canteen cup to pouch, stir, wait five to 10 minutes, hot water may be added in stages to keep food hot. But, they didn't give me any way to make hot water. So I'm going to assume that they, that they, I'm going to assume that they assume that you already have hot water. So let's try, these two things need hot water. This and this do not. And neither do these. So we'll try these things and then I'll get hot water and we'll try the rest of it. So first let's try this nut raisin mix. That's just regular, oh, silica gel, my favorite. So the nut raisin mix, just regular raisins, just like you expect. So that's just a regular, like a trail mix. Nothing really special. Fig bar. And they give you nice perforations so that you can rip it open. Or, let me just do it this way. <laughs> a very nice flattened fig bar. It's actually not bad. That's good. Just like a fig bar that you get at a store that doesn't really taste like anything gross or anything that you expect or anything that you wouldn't expect. Let's try the orange beverage powder first. Natural and artificial flavor. Yeah, I bet, I bet this is going to be artificial. It's, it smells like a Gatorade. Okay, so add to the, have to add to the fill line, which is way up here. Really not very excited for this because I'm sure this is going to taste like garbage. That's, that's the fill on. Let's 
see what kind of toxic substance we have now. Mmm. No. That can stay right there in that pouch. <clears throat> I would just rather drink plain water than have that. Now I guess the cocoa beverage powder, which I'm pretty sure I have an idea of how this is gonna taste. Probably disgusting, just like the last one. It smells good, but I know better than that. If it smells good, that doesn't mean it's gonna be good. Let's give it the same treatment. Just like a shake weight. All right, I think I've shaken this enough. I mean, it smells good like the last one, but I think I know what I'm in for. You know, actually, actually, I don't know if this one is different than the last one. Cocoa beverage powder, which I'm gonna assume is gonna be like a hot chocolate. But this one is actually way better. Wow. Yeah, this one, this one is actually very good. I don't know what the differences are between this one and the other one. Cocoa, cocoa beverage, beverage powder. powder. I think the other one just said cocoa beverage powder. I'd probably have to go back and watch that video to see exactly what the other one said. But this one is actually very good. That is very surprising. So now I'm going to go boil some water. So I'm gonna have some hot water and we will try our instant coffee three and our scrambled eggs with bacon and the instant oatmeal, instant oatmeal, strawberries and cream. All right, I am back with a pot of hot water. So I guess the first thing we will try is we will make our coffee. So this take eight, takes eight ounces of hot water, the oatmeal, and, okay, so both of these take eight ounces of hot water. Hopefully that's what you're supposed to do, because if you're not, oh well. All right, I don't, I don't know if you can see that in there. That just looks like, uh, <laughs> like astronaut food, kind of, which is basically what it is. Actually, for the oatmeal, I have a bowl. So I'm just gonna put the oatmeal in a bowl. About half this water in the oatmeal. And I'll put about half of it inside here. Maybe that'll be enough. And that, that oatmeal with the strawberries, that actually is smelling really good. Just gonna set this down here. The oatmeal, you're supposed to wait. How long are you supposed to wait? Two minutes. Then this, I think, I think it's about the same. Now this says five to 10 minutes. This says stir and then wait five to 10 minutes. So we will do that. I feel like this should be closed. Keep all that heat in there. All right, now we will make our coffee. Our instant coffee type three, that is, not just regular coffee. That seems like a very small amount. Oh, it's only supposed to be in six ounces. And I know that that has to be more than six ounces. Pour some of this back in here. Yeah, of course we're gonna make a mess. That looks like six ounces to me. Even though I don't know what six ounces looks like, but I'm just gonna say that's what it looks like. That, uh, that really doesn't smell much like coffee. Kind of smells more like like a stale hot chocolate or something. Mm -hmm. it resembles coffee a little bit, I guess. Let's add some cream and sugar. I guess with enough cream and sugar, really any coffee can be can be good. Get some sugar. It's a little hot, we'll let that cool down, and then we'll give that a taste test. <coughs> All right, I'm back, and this coffee has cooled off, so we'll give it a taste test. Eh, it's not, not great. 
but you can't. For something that comes out of an MRE, you can't really complain. It's not, it's not great, but it's not that bad. Next, I'm gonna try the oatmeal, which I think might be a little bit too watery, maybe. But even if it is too watery, I really can't blame that on, any, on anything but myself because I think I added too much water. Or maybe if you're reading this, maybe you like it kind of soupy. Anyway, let's give it a taste test. Get some, some strawberry pieces in there. I don't have any complaints about that. That's actually... Those freeze-dried strawberries are actually really strong and they really they really bring a lot rather than just plain oatmeal. Like this, this is actually really good. I mean, that's about, I mean, that's about, that's probably about 10 times better than I would have expected, honestly. Now for the scrambled eggs with bacon. I'm just gonna kinda dump this out on this plate and kinda just hope for the best. <laughs> that doesn't look very appetizing. But it is freeze dried scrambled eggs from a bag, what do you expect? But it doesn't, it doesn't really matter how it looks, it's all about, all about how it tastes. See what I mean? It kinda just looks like mush. But, let's see. Mm. A little bit mushy, a little bit on the mushy side. It's not my preferred way that I like my scrambled eggs. But it's not bad. Definitely not bad. I mean, it could be far, far, far worse. It's like if I was out like camping somewhere or something, or trying to survive, and this is what I had for breakfast, I would not have any complaints because this is this would actually be really good for a breakfast. So let's try it with some hot sauce, with some aged cayenne red peppers, distilled vinegar, distilled vinegar, salt, and garlic. I'm not a huge fan of hot sauce, but I'll give it a try. Hopefully it's not a disgusting hot sauce. No, it's actually not too bad. That's actually a... <coughs> God. It actually kind of tastes like a... Uh, like one of the hot sauce packets from Taco Bell. That's pretty much almost exactly what that tastes like. So overall, I would say that this MRE was better than the last one. The figs were good. The trail mix, you know, that's trail mix. It's always good. Scrambled eggs with bacon. That's good. The oatmeal was good. The coffee was not anything I could really complain about. The chocolate powder was actually really good. The only thing that they really messed up on was the orange drink. I really feel like if they would have just added something else or just not even put it all together, then that would have really made this whole MRE better. I feel like the orange drink really just kind of throws off the kind of a breakfast vibe, you know, the coffee, eggs, oatmeal, kind of just throws all that off and kind of like, unless maybe if you're going to have this and then you save that orange drink for like, for between like breakfast and lunch maybe, but I really don't feel like that fits with everything else that was in here, but everything else that was in here all went together really well and I'm really impressed with the quality of everything and everything tastes pretty good like you you can't complain it didn't taste bad so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one